Hey chums, and welcome to another Let's Play with me, RC, here on Video Chums. Today we're going to be playing a bit of Cosmos. Now this is a game that just came out on Steam recently, and uh, from what I read and what I could see, this is a platforming game, uh, as they, uh, the developers tout it, a difficult platformer uh, that has a lot of wall jumping and gunplay, so I'm actually pretty interested to see uh, how this is all going to play out. Uh, they call it uh, wall jumping and precise gunplay. So, uh, you know, with the words difficult and precise coming into play, I'm really wondering what we're getting into here uh, and how difficult this is actually going to be. But uh, yeah, you know what? Let's jump in. Uh, what's interesting is that uh, the options do say that uh, under controls, you uh, that uh, controllers are supported or I guess Cosmos supports controllers. <laughs> However, current current T, they do not work with UI. So keep that in mind. Some typos, my friend. Typos. Um, I want to double check because with typos like that, I mean, the game is not in early access. Currently, it is it is a released thing. So, OK, interesting. So we're going to actually actually have to use the mouse here to hit play. Uh, we're going to do solo. And I guess we'll start in the caves and start with, I guess T means training or tutorial. All right, here we go. So we got this little guy here. All right, hold on. So obviously you got the whole like, oh, if you just tap jump, you only jump so high. But if you hold it, you go higher. You could double jump. Oh, wow. You could just hold up and he'll just go up. You don't even have to jump. So you grab the wall and you just push up and down. He'll go back and forth. That's kind of interesting. I noticed the tutorial did not follow us here. Hold on. All right, so we have our... Okay, so that's where our gun comes in. Okay. All right, so it looks like that's how it's going to work. The way it's going to work is you need to destroy all the enemies while going through. All right. Wow, this kind of sucks, though, that, like... You have to, you actually have to click next level, or do I? Can I hit start? Oh, that sucks. Okay. You gotta actually click next level to go to the next level. Then you can use the controller again. Okay. That's gotta be ironed out immediately. Either way, though, I do like the concept of this game. I, um, oh, jeez. Didn't know that was happening. Overall, though, I'm not the biggest fan of games with, like, super, super tiny characters and stuff like that. I always imagine playing this on, like, a Vita screen or the Switch screen or something in the, in the future and just not being able to see anything. Alright, does lava happen all the time or just on certain levels? That was quick. Or, not quick, but close. Okay, so it looks like you get to a certain height and they won't come after you anymore. Jeez. I don't know how well I'm actually going to do in this game here trying to... <laughs> there we go. I haven't gotten the movement down just yet. Alright, I'm going to leave that guy there. I mean, really, if you leave all the enemies where they are, they'll just die eventually, right? Maybe not. I thought that the, the lava would po actually pop up. Okay. Apparently I've unlocked a metal. Let me go back to the menu. I want to see how all this works. So if we go in here... Okay, I see. Well, at least it tells you what you got to do to get the next metal and everything like that. So if you want to hit a gold, you got to get 15. We currently got 18. That's our best. All right. We'll keep going through uh, level four here. Oh, we got, like, some kind of weird ghost enemies. Ah! See ya. So lava always only seems to go so high. Let's take that guy out. Whoop. There we go. Oh, jeez. These guys move quick. Oh! Oh, 
Oh, that's death. Ah! That dude really wanted to get a piece of me there. Okay. Okay, we got... Oh! I keep forgetting that there's recoil on the gun, so when you actually shoot the gun in midair, it's pushing you back. Gotta be very careful when you're doing that. All right, we did it. Made it. Yeah, I feel like this finish screen needs to be a little bit tweaked as well. Like, the text is so big and things are all the same color. I kind of would like, you know, maybe show all metals on screen and show, like, what times you got to get all in, in one instead of having things blink and stuff like that. I don't know. It's it becomes very hard to read with like the current the current setup. Maybe if they even just like had a darker vignette around everything on that screen, maybe that would help a bit. Okay, that guy's done. Ah. Ghost. Blue ghost. Has to be confused with uh, Pac-Man blue ghost. All right, we got him. So I'm assuming that little sound that plays, that little Atari sound that plays there is the sound that lets you know, hey, the lava's coming. So I was just about to say, I wonder why the game doesn't really alert you a bit more as to like when things are coming after you to kill you. Because that would be nice to know. Oh, jeez. Got him. Come on down. Take you out. And I don't mean to dinner and a movie. Alright, next level here. I think that guy hit the spikes. I was like, how did he actually die? But I think that's what happened. Cthulhu dude now. Ah! We kind, we kind of got to go through the middle. Take him out. There we go. Got him. So overall, I, I enjoy the concept of this game. I like the whole platforming, shooting, you know, take out, once you kill all the enemies, you're done with the level situation. Like, I, I like that mechanic. I think it's... I think it's very simple to understand. It's it's put together pretty well. Um, oh, jeez, come on. I would just say that um, one of my, I think my biggest pet peeve with this is just the size of everything on screen. Um, you know, playing something like this at full screen not, not usually a problem, but I, I'm actually recording this in a window, as that is how my my, so, my recording software works. You know, I, I have a slightly bigger monitor than uh, one that works at 1080p. I usually record at 1080p, and it even seems small for 1080p, though. Just gonna say how high. Oop, whoop, oop. <laughs> All right, we're gonna give this. <laughs> we're gonna give this one more. One more scouts try here. One more college try. Ah, 
All right, well, guys, I think uh, we have seen what Cosmos is all about. Uh, I do like that as you go, they are introducing more enemies, more variety. They, they are introducing these interesting little Cthulhu-style characters, which is cool. Um, trying to figure out what's the best way to approach this one. Ah! That was not it. Ah! Let's see. Yeah, you can't even pause the game with the controller. Man. Um, let's head over to the menu. How far do we actually get? Alright, we got through eight levels. Alright, that's not too bad. Um, but yeah, guys, it's Cosmos. Like I said, I'm not big up on the really tiny creatures and tiny player. Like, that's it's kind of hard for my eyes. Maybe, maybe I'm getting old, you know? <laughs> old boomer over here. Uh, but things things just look really tiny and very nondescript on screen. Um, I understand the art style. We're going for, like, kind of a, you know, ambiguous pixel art style, which is totally cool. I just wish that sprites could be, like, a little, little bigger. Uh, and we got to immediately gotta fix that controller issue where you can't control the menus with the controller that is a pain uh because i guarantee there's gonna be a lot of people out there wanting to use a you know just regular xbox controller or whatever like i got here and not being able to click next level with the a button or the b button or, or whatever uh is uh pretty annoying uh but other than that like i said i like the simple concept i like the simple mechanics it's pretty cool um so there you go guys that is cosmos uh, i want to remind you don't forget to subscribe to us here at video chums because we come out with cool let's plays like this and other gameplay videos all the time and of course don't forget to uh, check out my own personal YouTube channel, which is at youtube.com slash watchggrc, because I come out with all types of other gameplay videos like, you know, reviews and that kind of thing. Uh, fun videos, you know, vlogs. I think you'll enjoy both channels. Definitely subscribe to both. I don't think you'll be sorry. Uh, and of course, chums, I'll see you all next time.